Hi, my name is Hadi. I'm the CISE PhD student, and today we are gathering here to protect our department. So, RD, you know, instead of distributing these budget cuts fairly across the departments, instead of doing that, she has chosen to completely dismantle our department. We are the Department of Computer Science. But I don't know, like you guys are such a big department. Why would you? Yes. <laughs> That's why I'm yes. confused. Yes. Yes. And we all students. are. And we all are. And we all are in shock. We all are in shock. Yeah, that don't even make sense. Yes. Yes. We collaborate with Shan. We collaborate with any other department. All the other departments need us. But it does not mean that if anybody else is using us, we should be a part of that department. We are the science on on our own. So. We create things, but it does not mean that people who use us, uh, we should be a part of that department. It just, not, it just does not help solve the interdisciplinary approach. Conservative estimates indicate that we generate 17% of the revenue for the College of Engineering among its 10 departments, while only costing the College of Engineering 10%. You cannot bring back the life to a program that you have cut apart. I value a department in which the research environment is a single, cohesive, collaborative environment. Because in the end, that is what makes a master's or a PhD degree meaningful. Now, how did I get involved, really, with this research project? I took Dr. Locke's class. Now, under his proposal, remember that uh, you know, half of our faculty are going to be moved to teaching only. And only the other, and the other half are going to be able to keep the research focus, but they probably won't be teaching most, much of any of our courses. What's your job? Why do we pay your salary? I am an associate dean for research. Just started this job about three and a half weeks ago. It's a, it's a critical mission to save the research status of CISE. Not let them ter teach it, uh, turn it into a diploma mill for just a teaching machine where people are not doing research. They, ca they cannot even use their class time explaining the newest things that are coming out and how what they're saying in a course is related to the newest things that they're working on. It's already there. If you cut out the research mission of a department, you have cut out the potential to turn out first-rate graduates from a teaching program after they get a degree. Secondly, under this proposal, we have all the funding for the TAs be cut. This also is going to dramatically affect the quality of our undergraduate teaching here. I mean, most of our undergraduate core courses, we have TAs who will help uh, give that additional perspective to our students. I mean, often, you know, the, the instructor has their perspective, but sometimes it's just not the best perspective that can help others to learn. Just how do you think you're ever going to bring it back in the future if you think this is just a temporary readjustment? How do you think you're going to bring it back? You think you're going to hire faculty that all of a sudden see this could happen to them again the first time the students flow in a different direction in Florida? You think you can bring, attract students when they see they're not being taught by a research faculty and have less quality to their degrees that they're coming out? You think students want to go to a program like that? No, when you do this, you kill a program permanently. Yeah, we have support from such distinguished scientists as Dr. Garrison of ICME at Stanford saying, do not destroy what's such a crucial part of engineering. And Ian Duff at SIAM. I very much doubt if the research activity could be continued at the same level if the faculty are moved to other departments. So it seems to me that this is a big loss to the university. This is uh, the chair of the board of SIAM. I know that the dean is considering the proposal. And I know that we are adhering to information and requests as needed. I also understand that we have to re report a budget to the university administration in the time frame that they have indicated to us. We have to adhere to the university deadline for returning a budget, so we have to keep that constraint also. What is that deadline? Yes! I'm not sure what that exactly is. It's obvious that this dean really wanted this, didn't want this attention put on this because the whole decision making process was originally scheduled for only seven days. This outcry is really reaching critical mass. Look around you. All right, These people all represent one cog in the functioning machinery of keeping this college and this university up and running and financially viable. Resisting bad decision making from the top and decision making that if people only resist it cannot prevail once the public is aware of the damage that is being done to our university. Thank <laughs> you.